Not sure what I'm gonna do. So we'll see how this goes. I have no idea how to do a voiceover, so I hope this isn't totally awkward. I already have on my foundation, my concealer, and then set that with powder, and now I'm just doing my contour. I mixed a brown and a gray eyeshadow together to get a nice ashy tone, and then I'm doing my cheekbones, my temples, a little bit of my forehead, my nose, my jaw, and then under my chin. Now I'm just going in with a black eyeshadow and an angled brush, and I'm kind of defining my hairline. I don't know, I thought it would be fun, and it also helped to cover up some of the hair dye stains that I had. Just saying. This would look super cool if you had like bright colored hair, like if you had purple hair or like green hair or something and you did this, that would be super fucking sweet. Now I'm just going in with another angled brush and a purple eyeshadow and I'm just sketching out where I want the beard and mustache to be. I used Shaker Pills Poison Plum for this and I forgot that that eyeshadow tends to stain. And just a heads up, now I have a pink beard. So that's cool. It cut out some of this part, um, but I just kept sketching out where I wanted it to be and then I took a paddle brush and I just started to fill it in and near the edges and in the smaller parts I just kept using the angle brush to fill it in and that's it. I'm just going in with concealer and yet another angle brush and I'm just cleaning up some of the lines that were wonky and some of the stray eyeshadow marks and whatever. I wasn't super precise with this because I wasn't done yet but I just wanted to clean up some of the more obvious things. I'm doing the same for the side except I really was not super careful with this part because uh, I wasn't going anywhere and you didn't see it in pictures so it didn't really matter and I didn't have all my glasses so I couldn't even see what I was doing anyway. Nice. And then I'm just patting on a little bit more eyeshadow to make some of the spots a little bit less patchy but it didn't matter too much because of the glitter that was going over top of it. Now I'm taking um, this like glitter gel stuff that I'm using as a base. It just has this chunky purple glitter in it and it's like this gel stuff. Wow, descriptive. But anyway, it works as a base for the loose glitter that I was gonna be putting on top of it. I used my finger for the larger parts and then I used a brush to apply it to the smaller parts and near the edges. Now I'm just taking my loose glitter and I'm patting that all over everything, which took forever and it took a lot of glitter and there is still glitter everywhere. But you know what? Totally worth it. Now I'm just doing eyeshadow primer. And then I'm taking the same angled brush and black eyeshadow that I used for my hairline and I'm just mapping out where I want my eyebrows to be. And I'm making another line on top of that to figure out how thick I want them to be and then I'm going to fill it in. And then I'm going to fade it out towards the front a bit so that I can blend purple eyeshadow into that and then have half purple eyebrows. And I'm just taking another angled brush with the purple and then I'm just filling in the front and then I kind of keep going in with the purple and the black and blending them together and sandwiching them in so that they blend really nicely.
Now I'm just taking concealer and cleaning up the lines a little bit. and then going over it with a little bit of powder so that the concealer doesn't move. My camera cut out a bunch of the next part, but I just took a single black eyeshadow, no other colors, and I just blew it out everywhere in sort of circular shape and slightly pointed in the outer corner. And then I left the inner corner and then I put a white pencil on the waterline and then a white eyeshadow in the inner corner and then a light cream eyeshadow to blend in with the black. And then I'm just going back and forth with the cream eyeshadow and the black eyeshadow and just blending them together and continuously layering them so that I can blend them together nicely. Also, it seems to have cut out this part too, but I put the same white eyeshadow that I put on the inner corner on the brow bone as a highlight. Now I'm just curling my lashes and doing some simple mascara, nothing special. This will look super cool with fake eyelashes, but I didn't have any lash glue. So I just went the simple route. And that's it. I hope this wasn't super bad with the weird middle of the night setup. I'll put all the products in the description in the order that I use them. And yeah, thank you for watching.